Inferno mode has been changed a lot. It is a hell of a lot harder now, and this is really great news, and I've got a bunch I want to say about that. Bashak posted this up on uh, Battle.net not long ago. Inferno mode originally was going to consist of monsters that were very brutally difficult designed to just pound your face into the ground again and again and what they decided to do was they took that and they just made it like exponentially more difficult was their ultimate decision uh, in today's changes and I couldn't be happier to be completely honest I will add the gameplay in the background is Diablo 3 in fact it is uh, three year old gameplay and some of the most entertaining and just great battles great scenes Far more gore, in my honest opinion. Uh, very enjoyable. L love it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, back on topic, though. Um, so now what we're going to see in Inferno mode is... I mean, the monsters, I'm sure, like in Act 1, you know, will be like level 60 and level 61. Of course, your character maxes out at 60. And then as you progress, Act 2 is supposed to get, like, you know, exponentially harder than Act 1. And as you move on to Act 3 and Act 4, apparently, only, like, the true quote-unquote elite players basically the players who spend all their time playing Diablo 3 like myself probably <laughs> um, will be able to actually conquer Acts 3 and Act 4 um, really really good stuff to hear it I mean apparently Diablo 3 is just going to last a very very long time you'll always have goals that you're setting you know for yourself if you want to look at it like that always new areas that you need to clear and that are just getting harder and harder and harder for you. Um, it should be quite the challenge. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, you could even sort of look at Diablo 2. And although Diablo 3, I'm sure, is going to be, um, I, I hope, a much more difficult experience than just base Diablo 2. Of course, they added all that stuff in, you know, in later patches like Uber Tristram that was like retarded, difficult. And like Diablo Clone and stuff, just like all these really, really tough areas. Um... They added that. I guess you can sort of compare that to the Inferno mode that we will experience in Diablo 3. Um, I don't know. I kind of doubt how much it's being hyped up, though. Bashiok was saying it's actually going to take players, like, months to clear Inferno mode. I don't know. I think people are going to find ways uh, to do it. You know, builds and groups and um, just strategies and tactics. Uh, I don't know. Uh, who knows, really, until May 15th. But I really do... Um, I don't know. I guess I have a bit more faith in the player base than Bashiok might. But we'll have to see. It's supposed to be crazy difficult. And that's how all these Blizzard reps are always hyping it up. Just the difficulty and how many times we're just going to you know, have our faces smashed into the dirt by all these monsters in Sanctuary. I really can't wait. If you guys want to check out that article that well sorry it's just actually a forum post that Bashiok made but it's really detailed on how the inferno difficulty has changed i will post that below um let me know what you guys think about how inferno is developing and uh actually you know what more specifically i would like to hear if you the viewer plan on playing diablo 3 if you are playing it are you going to play it casually you know i don't know like an hour a day maybe it's pretty casual um in my opinion, I'm a pretty hard gamer, I suppose. Or are you, you know, going to go all out, you know, leveling up as fast as you can, clearing the game as fast as you can, farming loot, real money auction house, inferno mode, everything. Are you going to go off like that? Are you going to play hardcore mode? Man, the first player who clears inferno with a hardcore character, I guarantee you, is going to get, like, a medal or a trophy or a banner or something from Blizzard that I think is truly going to take months it's that's such a, a crazy accomplishment hardcore mode in and of itself should I do it guys should I do it so many casters are gonna be covering Diablo 3 I could be the only one doing hardcore mode I could run it and I would probably die I'm sure that